Hello, gorgeous. You're listening to The Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over. On this podcast, we talk about everything from dating and relationships to personal development. We also speak very candidly about the F word, and by that, I mean failure. So grab a pen, tag a friend, and let's talk about it. All of it. Undergoing, overcoming, and simply trying to make it through. Hello, gorgeous. You're listening to the Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over podcast. If you don't know, I'm your host, Kayla, and I am so excited that you have found my platform. It's Monday, and so we are gearing up for another episode of Riddle Me This. That's a segment where I ask a compelling question to challenge and change you. But before we dive into this week's question, I have a special announcement for my Android listeners. If you have an Android device and you are listening to this podcast via Google Podcast, please know that as of April 2nd, you will not be able to stream this or any podcast on Google Podcast. They are dissolving that platform in favor of YouTube Music. Now, never fear. There are still tons of ways that you can listen to The Girlfriend's Guide for absolutely free. You can stream on Spotify, on iHeartRadio, on Castro, Overcast, Pod Friends, Good Pods, or if you are following me on YouTube at Hey Coach K1, I upload my podcast every single Monday and Thursday to my YouTube feed. So there is literally no reason why we have to separate or be detached. I just wanted to make sure that you are aware so that the transitionary period is super smooth. If you need assistance or support, please reach out to me on social. I will be more than happy to get you connected so that you don't miss a beat. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, today's question. Riddle me this. Is there a song that perfectly describes you or your life? Having a theme song, if you will, is one of the ways that I have gotten through really complicated circumstances and experiences in my life. I remember when the boys transitioned in with their father and I had called off the wedding and I was living in this shoebox style apartment and I was just so blue and so fed up and so done. I remember that Beyonce's listen was my jam because I felt unheard and I felt like people had kind of forced their ideas onto me and they had really kind of decided that they had given me my voice and they would determine how much I grew. And I felt that from relationship, from family, from surroundings. And I was just like, yeah, no more. Like I'm alone at a crossroad and I'm not doing this anymore. And now that I'm in a better headspace, it's more like India Ari, I am like kind of vibe. Like I'm not the brokenness. I'm not the stuff my family did. Like I'm not the color of my skin or my eyes. Like I'm literally light. I am a beacon of hope. And so I encourage you to noodle on this throughout the week. Is there a song that perfectly describes you or your life or something that will give you a little hope and maybe not allow you to feel so alone in your emotions? I love you. I want the best for you. As always, if you feel compelled, reach out on socials and let's chop it up. Tell me about it. Have an excellent week on purpose and I'll see you girls on Thursday. Bye now. Well, gorgeous girl, that's a wrap for this episode. I hope you found value, insight, or strength. I hope something was said that gave you the courage to push on a little while longer toward the life of your dreams. If you felt motivated during this segment, screenshot this and throw it in your stories and tag me on social. That way we can keep the message going. Have an excellent day on purpose and we girl will talk in the